This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this video, we're going to modify the report and the form with LOVs for the animals table. In the report, we're going to add a navigation feature at the top of the report page. There's one automatically at the bottom, but if you don't want to have to scroll down, you could add a feature, duplicate that at the top. We'll take a look at that. Then we'll look at modifying the form for animals. We created LOVs, list of values. Now we'll change the display for a couple of those to radio group and checkbox so you can see some of the display options that you have with LOVs. Then we're going to copy that report and form to the production application. And what you're going to see is that Apex very nicely offers us the opportunity to copy the LOVs. The LOVs that we created in the development or working application are not in the production application right now, but we can copy those over. And then I'm thinking I'll probably have to modify the target page settings because when I started copying forms and reports into the production application, I had to do that because of conflicts in page numbers from the original development application in, and in the production application. So I'm logged in to Apex as Mark Adams. So I'm logged in as Mark Adams. This is our production application. That's where we move reports and forms over when we think we've got them designed the way we want them. I just want to show you that in this application, we do not have the LOVs that we created in previous videos for the, the development application. Let me get back to the application builder and go into our development application. And I'll run that application. So I'm going to first modify this report, list animals. And I have a a somewhat limited screen here because I need it to be a certain size for the videos. So I have to scroll down to get to the navigation to move to another record. So what I want to do is change that right now. I'm going to edit the report page. I'm going to go to the attributes of the report on the left hand side. And then I will scroll down and pagination, we have these options. Under pagination, we have two options, display position and type. For type, I'm going to switch to this, where we have x to y of z. More importantly, what I want is both top and bottom navigation, so that I don't have to scroll down to get to the navigation. So when I save that and run it, I'm getting a total count of records, and I can navigate here as well as when I'm at the bottom of the page, so I can go to the next page. So I think that's a really nice feature, makes it much more flexible. Next, I want to come to the form that this report calls, and its target is page four, where we have added lists of values. By the way, if you have a question mark out to the side, because we have a column comment, you have this built-in help feature. So if you take the time to add column comments, either at the database level in the scripts or in the user interfaces in the utilities here in Apex, then you'll have this built-in help feature where you can click on the question mark and get explanations. Right now I want to change the sex display. I'm going to go to edit page and I will change the display of sex. So I select that on the left side 
And what we've been seeing is the select list. Now I want to pick the radio group. And I'll do that and save and run that. So we're seeing this linear display. I would like to move that across the page. Also, we have female, male, and unknown. By default, Apex is going to give you the option of a null, as in if you don't want to pick one of the actual data items. We're not going to use that, so we're going to make those changes. We'll edit. And number of columns, we have three options, female, male, unknown. So we want three columns across the row. Then I want to come down to display extra values, no. No, wait a minute, that's not what I want. I want a display null value, no. And save that and run that. So now we're seeing the radio group feature for a list of values. For house trained, let's change that. So we select house trained and instead of select list, at the very top, it's off the screen here, is checkbox. So scroll up and get the checkbox. On the number of columns, I'm going to put three and I'm going to scroll down and I don't have the option for the null values. So let's save that and run that. So yes, no, unknown. I'm going to also change the status and spade neutered. So for status, so on the left hand side select status and for status on this one I'm going to do the radio group and I'm going to set that for three even though that'll mean I should have two, at least two rows on status. Come down and say display null, no, and I'll save that. Before I go look at that I'm going to do spade neutered and I'll come back up here and say that's going to be the checkbox. Scroll up and get that option and I'll put three and I'll save that and I'll display that. So here we have two rows because I specified three columns. One other thing I'll just for, I'll change this back, but I'll edit this page and I'm going to select dominant breed ID and then I'm going to select shuttle. This is not going to work, but I want to show you the choice here. I'll pick shuttle and save that and run that. If it were possible to combine and say that there's two or more options to move over, then we could use this, but we only allow one dominant breed, but we could theoretically move this over, but we want one dominant breed. So I'm going to go back to dominant breed and I'm going to switch that back to select list. Then I'll save that and run that. Let's say that we're happy with the list animals report and the form that it calls which is currently called Animals Info Loves. I'm going to now go to Page Designer up here through the tabs. Then I'm going to switch applications. I'll go to Application Builder and I'm going to go to AS Animal Shelter Operations. I'll go into Edit a Page. Doesn't matter which page you pick because actually what we're going to do is do a copy. We're going to copy a page in another application, and that'll be our development application. And I want to get list animals, which is page two. I'm going to change this page number, and it would have been ideal in the development application if we had specified page numbers and then followed through with those the same numbering in the production but we've been kind of building this on the fly and figuring out things as we go. I'm going to move the animal forms and reports into the 30 number sequence. And I'm going to also do a breadcrumb just so we can see the impact of that. The parent entry 
is going to be the home page and that's going to be list animals. We do want to create a new link. This will go in the animals landing page, parent page. And I never remember to do that. So I'm going to do list animals. So I click next and I click finish. And I'm going to run that page. So now I have a report listed under the animals parent page. I'm seeing my navigation at the top as well as at the bottom. I'm going to go back to page designer and do another copy from the other development application. I'm going to switch this to page number 31 and this will be the animal info LOVs. I'm just going to call that animal info. Again, I'll go ahead and do breadcrumb just so you can see how that looks in an application. The parent would be home. Oh wait, no, the parent. The parent would be list animals. And I'll go ahead and type that in as far as how it appears in the navigation. Have it create that item. It comes, oh, let's see, wait a minute. No, I don't want, I don't want a menu entry here because you get to this form through the report. So I backed out of that, I'll click next and I'll click next. And when I do, you gotta love Apex. It's saying, you've got a lot of LOVs here. Do you wanna copy those? And absolutely, we do wanna copy. So I'll scroll down and get all of those set to copy and click next and create that form. Now that's page 31 and it's fine as a blank form but if I go to animals and list animals for the report and I click this edit, it's going to try to open page four. You can actually see that in the URL down in the lower left corner. We're in application 109 and it's trying to call page four. So when I click that, I get an error. So we've done this before, but now we need to do it again. I will edit this page. I will come into attributes on the report as a whole and I will switch from page four. I will switch from page four to page 31. That's the form. I then need to set my items. So that's going to be 31 animal ID. And I'll click OK, save that, run that. Now when I do the pencil, and I'll go to this dog here, Cookie, then I am seeing Cookie. There's something else I need to fix here. And notice now we have, in addition to the drop-down menu, we have the breadcrumb. So I'm going to click on list of animals to go back to the report. And we need to modify this create button because it too is going to try to open up the wrong page, the P4 or the page four. So I'm going to edit my report again only now what I need to do is come and select the Create button, scroll down, get my target, switch that to 31, and this will be Animal ID 31, and Save, and that works. Pretty neat. Apex is a pretty good declarative development tool. There's so many things you can tell it you want without ever having to provide the coding for that.